is Jared Horak for HorseRacingNation.com and this is my video feature race of the week for Saturday, April 29th, 2017. We're going to do the 8th race from Belmont Park, the Elusive Quality Stakes, for 4 year olds and up. And they're going to be traveling 7 furlongs on the turf course. Now last week we got home Imperative in the Charlestown Classic at a nice price. The week before that we got home Watershed in the Ben Ali. So let's keep these 5, 6 to 1 type winners going and look for a little bit of value in this race. It doesn't seem to be a lot of pace. I'm going to go with the three, Siding Spring is my top choice. He's 4-1 to one morning line. He was on the Kentucky Derby Trail in the past. He ran in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile in 2015. And then, and then last year in 2016, he ran in the Southwest. He ran in the Rebel Stakes. Uh, he wasn't able to get enough derby points. He wasn't really a, a route horse on dirt. But they found out you know, what he can do. And it looks like seven furlongs on turf seems like a good distance. Now, last time out in the Appleton, that was a one-mile race at Gulfstream Park. Ended up setting the pace and finishing fourth. But his two starts prior to that, seven and a half furlongs on turf at Gulfstream Park, he won both. In, in February, he went wire to wire, and then in January, he stopped the pace and won at that distance. So I like that early pressing versatility in a race without much pace. John Velasquez gets aboard for trainer Mark Cassie. And now that cutting back in distance to seven furlongs seems like a good distance. Now he's run on Belmont's turf before two times, didn't hit the board. But one of them was at six furlongs on turf. And in that one, the pace was really quick, 21 and change, 44 and change. He couldn't keep up early, and he rallied from, from ninth to end up uh, finishing fourth. And then in a one-mile race at, at Belmont Park last year, went out and set the pace and weakened to fourth. So when he gets to a mile, he can get out there and he sets the pace and he weakens. But in these shorter races, uh, with, especially with a more uh, tepid pace scenario, I think he's going to be all over the pace, and he could be tough to catch in the stretch. My second choice is going to be the five disco partner. Uh, he's two to one morning line, moving to the Christoph Clement barn. Uh, he likes the Belmont Park turf course. He has seven starts with three wins and two seconds. He's won at this distance before as well. Very consistent overall turf performer. He's going to be rallying from off the pace. Irad Ortiz Jr. is going to ride, uh, and he does uh, decent work with Christoph Clement. They've teamed up two times recently with a win, and then the other horse ended up of finishing in the money. So look for him to be rallying from off the pace. May not quite get enough pace help, but he should be motoring in the stretch. And then number nine, Hammer's Vision, will be my third choice. And he's six to one morning line, and he should offer some decent value. Uh, Joel Rosario is going to ride for trainer Brian Lynch. They've teamed up seven times in the last 60 days with three wins, and then all seven horses finished in the top three. So you have a solid jockey trainer team. His one start at this distance on turf, and he finished second. And that was at Belmont Park on Yielding Turf last year. Uh, he's got some tactical speed from that outside post. I think he's going to be stalking the pace. And I said the pace should be moderate. And, and he should give a good account of himself from the outside post. But he, he will be stalking and losing, losing some ground. Now you have the two Green Plank Crusader. He's a main track only. Uh, and then we have another main track only, the six Alex Cetera. So there are two main track only uh, entrants in this race. But hopefully it stays on turf. Uh, and, if, and if it works out like it looks on paper... A siding spring hopefully can go wire to wire. So we're going to make a $20 win wager, wager on siding spring. We're going to play a $5 exact that we're going to put siding spring on top of Disco Partner and Hammer's Terror. And then another $5 exact that we're going to put Disco Partner and Hammer's Terror on top of number three, siding spring. If you're interested in my full card analysis, uh, next week I'm going to have my Kentucky Derby Day full card from Churchill Downs at winninghorsepicks.com. Every other day I offer full cards uh, from Santa Anita at that website. But the big Churchill Downs full card... Kentucky Derby Day will be available next week at winninghorsepicks.com. That'll wrap up this video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.